you might have already come across reflexive verbs. These are ones where you are doing something to yourself, like me ducho, I'm showering, or me cepillo los dientes, I'm brushing my teeth. But there's another use of the word se that is really useful and that'll help you sound a lot more natural when you're speaking because it's a really common colloquial way of expressing yourself. This usage of se emphasizes that something was an accident, that you didn't do it on purpose, that the thing that you forgot, forgot itself, or the thing that you dropped, dropped itself, or the thing that you lost, lost itself. That's kind of what the grammar and the sentence structure says, although the actual implication and what people understand when you use this sentence structure is that whatever happened was more of an accident. Here's how it works. If I am holding your plate and I drop it, I could say, quebré tu plato. I broke your plate. Quebré tu plato. This implies fault and it could potentially imply that you did it on purpose. Instead, if you say, se me quebró tu plato, se me quebró tu plato, it implies that it was an accident. It's literally, the plate broke itself to me. So in this case, it's really the plate's fault and not yours. Another example, take yourself back to school and you forgot your homework at home. You could say, I left my homework at home. Dejé mi tarea en casa. Or you could say, se me quedó la tarea en casa. Se me quedó la tarea en casa. The homework left itself at home. Or if you forgot something, say you forgot to call somebody, you could say, me olvidé de llamarte. Me olvidé de llamarte. I forgot to call you. Or you could say, se me olvidó llamarte. Se me olvidó llamarte. I forgot to call you, but it implies something more like it, calling you slipped my mind. This structure is often used with a few different verbs, one of them being caer, to fall. So you could say, dejé caer tu plato. I dropped your plate. Or you could say, se me cayó el plato. The plate dropped itself to me. Another one is with the verb acabar. In this case, acabar means to run out, to finish. So if you want to say that the food ran out and you're implying like the food ran out on us, the food did the running out, rather than we ate it all, you can say, se nos acabó la comida. We ran out of food. Se nos acabó la comida. And you'll notice that the word nos is there because you're talking about us. If you're just talking about me, I ran out of food. Se me acabó la comida. Or if he or she ran out of food, se le acabó la comida. If it's unclear who you're talking about, you can stick the person's name or the noun at the beginning of the sentence. So you could say, a mi hermano se le quebró tu laptop. My brother, your laptop broke on him. A mi hermano se le quebró tu laptop. The last thing to note is that the verb changes not based on you, but based on the number of things that got forgotten or left behind or lost. So take the word to lose, perder, and say you lost your keys. Keys are often plural. So in this case, you wouldn't say, se me perdió las llaves. You would say, se me perdieron las llaves. I lost the keys. Because the losing goes with the word keys, which are plural in this case. But don't worry too much about the grammar behind it. Just remember se me plus verb and just start noticing it when you hear native speakers say this or when you see examples of it because it's really, really common and you'll start to see it everywhere now that you know about it. And eventually it'll click with you. For now, you can also use the regular verb structure to express yourself. You could say perdí las llaves, I lost the keys. But this will step it up a notch and help you sound a little bit more natural in some situations because it's a very common way to express yourself in Spanish. All right, now put this into practice. If you don't, you are probably gonna forget it right away. So in the comments, I want you to write something that you lost or forgot or broke in Spanish. It's okay if you get the conjugations or the grammar wrong, it's no big deal. Just try out this sentence structure and see how it goes. And if you like this video and you want more tips on how you can improve your Spanish and sound more natural when you're speaking, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.